Assalamualaikum and hi. Today I want to demonstrate how to draw the is the RE model of the BJT common base configuration. As you can see here, uh, this is the graphical symbol of the PNP transistor. Okay, I'm using PNP transistor. First, okay, you should know where is the where is the collector where is the base and emitter so emitter is at the symbol of the di symbol of the diode or arrow okay and then here is collector then b attached to the ground okay for this one after we get uh, this terminal then we should know where is the the current flow for IE, okay, the current flow from E to C. And IE will flow to the B. Okay, so once we get this current direction, then we can go to the two-port system to draw the RE model. So two-port system is like a black box, okay, that we only... Uh, can see the output and input the input we have i in and then we have v in and also input impedance and then for the output we have i out v out and output impedance so inside of the black box black box is uh, <coughs> our re model so we know <coughs> the re model start with the resistor internal resistor here then we draw internal resistor and at the output is the current source yeah okay once we draw the resistor and current source then we label the current flow okay for the at the input okay this is the e and below is the b and at the output side is the c and below is b so the current will flow from ie ie is going in okay means that it's going in and here is re the resistor so internal resistor or ac resistor re is equal to 26 millivolt divide by 1 ie okay sorry divide by ie so remember that this ie is actually dc value okay that we get from the dc analysis okay then for the current source okay we determine the current flow first. Okay, the current will flow from the E to C. So, like this. Okay. IE, so to IC. Means that now the IC will going up inside the current source. Okay. Then we know this is the IC. Okay. Then for the current source is IE equal to uh, sorry IC equal to alpha IE okay we get this one equal to alpha IE okay and alpha IE okay then why must alpha why alpha 
IE okay recall back the RE model for the common base configuration okay, we recall the output characteristic okay this is the output characteristic okay, take a look here at the output characteristic as you can see the slope always all slope here almost similar okay for each current here ic and ie so we can see that uh, the slope actually is very close to a perfect horizontal almost flat and we can say that the ic value almost similar with the ie you see here ic equal to 1 milliampere and here ie equal to 1 milliampere when ic equal 2 milliampere and ie also equal to milliampere so we can say the ic equal to ie because of this when we uh, insert the uh, constant value then we can say that ic is actually equal to alpha ie where alpha is always uh, or the value is almost 1 or alpha less than 1 okay when we multiply 1 with ie then we get ic equal to ie that's why we use alpha here so remember for common base configuration we use alpha ie for the current source that's it okay finish for our re model